as state lawmakers have decided to kick annual vehicle inspections to the curb. Yeah, starting in 2025, those inspections will become a thing of the past for most drivers. But not everyone wants inspections to go away. Michelle Lorenzo has that story. There are 22 million registered vehicles in the Lone Star State, according to the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles. Before a car can be registered, it must pass an inspection. Following the Department of Public Safety's guidelines, state inspectors like the ones at Coastal Auto Techs look for red flags, which could potentially cause a safety hazard if it's not addressed. Well, we do all testing, brakes, lights, belts, seat belts, wipers. We make sure all of those are up to date mechanical wise. And now if it isn't, then we do inform them that it did not pass inspection. Coastal Auto Tech does about 95 inspections per day. And quite a few people don't know their vehicle has a problem until an inspection finds it. The most concerning and common issue has to do with brakes. About 75% of those fell for brakes. And if you're not able to brake properly, you can cause a major crash. According to a Texas Tribune report, defective cars were more than three times as likely to be involved in a crash that resulted in a fatality. That's why the passage of House Bill 3297, which ends annual inspections beginning in 2025, is causing some safety concerns. For a vehicle to be out there, it's got to be 100% out there in the street. I mean, you can't have a car falling apart. And you just imagine that all these accidents that are happening today and people getting killed and no, it's, it should be, they should be inspected, that's what I think. Texas lawmakers who back the bill say the inspections were a waste of time for Texans, and they believe people will continue to take measures to keep their cars or trucks safe on the road. Reporting from Corpus Christi, Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News. Vehicle inspections may be going away, but that $7.50 fee will remain. Drivers will pay that annual fee when they register their vehicles. The money will go toward the Texas Mobility Fund, the General Revenue Fund, and the Clean Air Account. By the way, there are 17 Texas counties that will still mandate annual inspections and emissions tests, regardless of this bill being signed into law. None of those counties are in our area, though.